Bristol's elite site security specialist in stop and search. Gloves, Stanley knife, hammer, crowbar. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I think you're about to commit a burglary. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm about to work in that house over there, you kid. Highly trained in high-speed pursuit driving whilst under immense pressure. You still doing breakfast? Nah. Bam! This is the site interceptor. Just another day in paradise. Colin is a lone crusader who thrives by single-handedly dealing with the bad guys. Gosh, so annoying. Head office say I need an assistant. You should see the state of this guy. A right little loser. Hi there. Ian Strangecock was previously a traffic warden, but he was fired for continually having mobility scooters towed away from outside of corner shops. Ian believes he has what it takes to be Bristol's next elite site security guard, and he's honoured to be working alongside Colin. See that guy in there with a blue helmet? Yeah. Danny Clements. Last week I seen him take a handful of raw plugs. I know. Get in there, apprehend him, show him he's the boss. Right. This is what I've got to do. I've got to show him to how to handle people. He's got to go in there and show his authority, show me the bosses, because we can't let these people take the mick out of us. Handful of raw plugs, next time it's going to be a handful of penny rotters. Absolutely crazy. We cannot let these trades people walk all over us. They make us sick. Oh, for f so what are you up to this evening, man? Yeah, well, you know me. I like to do a bit of hot boxing. Hot boxing? <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Fresh. What about you? Oh, I'll probably just stay in and look at my jazz mags. I didn't have you down as a music man. Colin and Ian have gone deep undercover at a local car park as they are investigating a spate of tool thefts from their building site. Colin has come up with an ingenious plan to recover the stolen tools. Tools have been stolen from the site I'm working on, and guess who's been made the escape goat? So Colin here has been given a tip off by one of the chippies that one of the stolen power tools is being sold here tonight. <laughs> Finished? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Ian. Um, so I've been given a tip off by one of the chippies that the power tools that have been stolen are on sale in this car park here tonight. They're what, they're what we call hot tools. So what are you going to do? What I'm going to do, we've come undercover, we're going to pose as the buyers, and we're going to catch those guys with those hot tools in their hands. But little does Colin know that this particular car park in Bristol is used for another certain activity at night. Oh, we're on, we're on. Good evening. Show us what you got then. All right, stop where you are, undercover police. You're under arrest for public indecency. <laughs> No, 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 you, you, you've got it wrong, officer. I, I was just cruising around looking for some hot tools. Oh, yeah, that's what we thought, sir. You want to save all that for when you've got a solicitor down at the station. Solicitor? No, this carpenter on so That carpenter? He saw me coming. Oh, I'm sure many people have in this car park, sir, but you don't want to incriminate yourself anymore. No, no, you, you've got this all wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm a security officer. Whilst Colin was being interviewed by the police, Ian had to look after security on the building site. Colin was eventually released without charge for public indecency, but was then instantly re-arrested for telling them he was going to spend the rest of the evening hotboxing. <laughs>